How's it going, everybody? I'm Bill Kenny, co-founder of Focus Lab, and today I'm going to be walking you through our sidecar branding delivery template. All right, so first let me say that uh, this is not where we do the actual design. Uh, there's a clear difference here. So if you see uh, these artboards here, this is the madness. This is where the design happens. So, um, you know, just kind of like working through a single artboard and exploring typography and color and all those other things. Uh, but when it comes down to the delivery for the client, uh, we certainly can't ship like that. So um, something that we've evolved over the years at Focus Lab is coming up with this artboard structure for our deliverables. So I'm gonna zoom in here and just show you, uh, there's a couple notes here. So in this template, we have an existing brand that we worked on, which I just showed you. This was uh, round three. It looks like this was round two of just our exploration. And each week we'll put together one of these deliverables. Uh, the point being, we put an actual brand exploration in this template. It's not meant for you to use um, for your own work. Again, just covering some notes here. Um, Mock-up notes. We've also got some, some actual uh, mock-ups in here. These can be purchased through through Sidecar, uh, and you can you can use those in any of your templates. And then um, this document basically covers a single concept, meaning a single design deliverable. If you are going to be presenting more than one concept, or you have some significant maybe like color changes, so maybe one of the options is all red and one of the other options is all purple, just go ahead and just create more artboards and just keep stacking them down below. Uh, you can make this document as big or as small as you need it to be. We just kind of went for the, the average for us. So um, basically what happens here is we do all the design work all week in one of these crazier art boards, uh, just kind of like an open blank canvas, if you will. And then we'll start to kind of pull it over into these boards and build it out into more of a story. So the way the flow goes is you'll have a color here. You can just come in here and kind of like take all this out, place whatever you want, change colors, uh, drop in a new quote that would be sufficient and relevant to the, the work that you're doing. Uh, placing the creative brief. I'm gonna place the creative brief in there because it grounds the goals for the project and what you're trying to achieve and will help to break away from just personal opinion on both your side and client side. And then a little tease of some early sketches. This is actually a mock-up too that's available on madebysidecar.com. But uh, just some, showing some early sketches, it's kind of the um, uh, like the, the peeking behind the curtain. So uh, then we go section by section here. So section one, brand mark. And what we'll do is we'll, um, if we can just imagine like you would come in here, you would delete this. You would come over into your artboard and you just start pulling stuff and pasting it over and you know putting in your you know, early ideas using the grid that's already there for you and just repopulating this to tell your story uh, so going through early ideas we've got some text here it's definitely important to leverage the text you're going to want to speak to the ideas in written form uh, more than just kind of placing them here and hoping that the client understands. Showing some concept direction. So we're kind of showing them um, some of the, the process. The design process is always really helpful and interesting most times for the client to see this. It again, it helps them to, to buy into where you're going with the design. So we've got, um, we're telling them, hey, this is an abstract pairing of a C and an O for uh, CO, which is Create One, which is the name of this company. Here's a horizon and a sun concept. Here's a brain concept, but also kind of like turning into like a speech bubble, uh, starting to show the anatomy of it. Again, kind of speaking to all these things page by page. And you see this is like a linear process walkthrough. You want to show them step by step by step, as opposed to they don't need to see all these steps, right? This is kind of the the rat's nest of design and you jump around and you work on one thing and you jump to another thing and you go crazy. But when you're building out this template, it is very step-by-step -step in a clean storytelling way. 
uh, as you get further into your artboards, you can then start to uh, place color on the design, put it in context, so maybe showing some early collateral examples, putting it in a mock-up so it feels more real life, uh, and then jumping into another section. So that's a quick breeze through this section. This section can be 20 artboards long if you want it to. Some of ours, our documents uh, turn into 70, 80 pages because we want each section to be really blown out and we want to actually show more of all of this. Uh, in this one, we simplified it again, just kind of like play to the average, but feel free to build it out more as needed. Um, next, we go into the logo type and the tagline. So again, speaking to the direction, what are you going, what are you trying to achieve? What are they about to see? Kind of setting the stage, jumping in to the, the different logo type options, showing them where modification has happened, showing it now locked up with the mark that you've already walked them through above, pairing it with a tagline, putting it in some context, um, and then you see jumping into typography. So we've got um, typography examples, showing those in context, a little web mock-up here. It's not rendering all that clear. If I come into the actual 100%, um, again, showing the, the type in context. Showing in context is really key for us, so you see a good bit of that in here. And the document continues that flow. So then we go through color, show some color examples, show inspiration, the color wheel built out for you. You can just go ahead and modify this. They're all individual shapes. Um, naming the colors. We've enjoyed that. I, clients really appreciate that as well. Instead of just saying red, you should put some thought into, into the color. These are simple kind of fun examples for this document, but we do put some intention into naming both the mark the logo mark for our clients and the the colors their main kind of primary colors we want to we want to name those in brand makes them identifiable for the client too when they're speaking about their assets uh, and then the best of the round so then kind of like a final close out which is here's the uh, kind of like the final sell of the look if you will so uh, why do we do this flow uh, it's it's really helpful for us to kind of like clean up the mess, which I've shown you before, taking all of this one by one and saying, okay, I think that this one belongs uh, over here. We, you know, take kind of like best of breed and just start replacing stuff and, and putting in your own work here. Uh, and it also helps to, it helps to see like a, a larger overview of your work uh, and it will help you to quickly identify maybe what holes you have. So instead of me starting uh, a new document and saying like, okay, here we go again, week, week eight of 12, another document uh, for another new client, what should I show first? Starting, starting to take some of those decisions um, away from you, which is helpful, and, and kind of just follow the flow. So now we know, okay, we're always gonna start with brand mark, click to maybe new tab, new project, start pulling over all your brand mark examples. If you have a lot in a given week, just add new artboards, shift things around. If you don't, just come in and delete some artboards and maybe start the logo type tagline conversation earlier. Uh, so the, these presentations will shift week to week as well, where maybe in a given week, the majority of the work is all logo type or mark exploration. Then you don't even need to have any of these other sections. You can basically just select all this, swipe it, uh, delete it and uh, just continue to build out all the way to the end with just mark or logo type. So again, that's that's all up to you, uh, but we've defined kind of a good flow covering a variety of things here. Um, so it allows us to clean up the mess. It also allows us to kind of catch any holes to say, geez, the, the brand mark section is much smaller than maybe like the color section or, oh, Darn, I totally forgot to really push type this week. I can see that now that I've laid it all out. I have basically nothing to put in here as I'm going back and forth from my artboard to this. And I was supposed to account for typography this week. This section will allow us in a way to kind of stay accountable to all the things we need to be shipping to. Uh, and then the final 
the final and maybe the biggest piece really is it's super digestible for the client. When they receive a document like this, the presentation style of it allows them to follow along in a, in a super digestible way as if they were there with you all week, you know, cause I don't know, everybody's workflow is different, but for us, we, we ship at the end of every week. So every Friday we'll send a document uh, to the client. So we are heads down during the week and they might not hear from us at all. Uh, so this gives them insight into what has happened during the week and uh, the ways that we were thinking, some of the things that we were coming up with. And if you want to be really crazy, I wouldn't suggest this for every client, but we'll also sometimes just come in here, take a giant screenshot of what's happening. Uh, kind of zoom out from this. If I was to take another screenshot here, and we'll even dump this stuff into, uh, so let's just say uh, for Brandmark, before I even give them black and white, distilled down examples, I'll come in and I'll paste one of those screenshots in here just to show the volume of thought and work that has gone into each direction. And again, that will go far for the client because they say, wow, look at all the stuff that's been explored. I can really appreciate the exercise and I understand how it went this week. So really pulling them in uh, on the client side. So that's probably the bigger, the bigger takeaway for this document. It's going to help you quickly build out a deliverable in a digestible flow for the client. Uh, and the last thing I'll leave you with is we always ship this with uh, an accompanying video as well. We didn't, we didn't always do that, but we've learned over time that shipping this with a, a screen share, basically what I'm doing for you now, just recording your screen and you walking them through the, the PDF though, not these artboards, they don't need to see an Illustrator artboard, but if you just come in here and you save out as a PDF, open that in preview, and then walk them through page by page, explaining in more depth of, hey, we explored this CEO look. Uh, we chose to do the rounded, softer kind of stroked ends because of the friendliness of your brand. We didn't really think that worked all that well. We quickly moved on to some other concepts. You, know, you can really take the conversation further in a simple 10 minute video and, and send them the PDF. And the both of those together will really um, will really be a nice deliverable for your client and show them what you've been working on. So uh, that's how we use the branding delivery template. Feel free to, to buy this, make it your own, repopulate it with your work, build it out, make it better. Uh, we'd love to see how you use it. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Um, for more assets uh, built by us and some detailed uh, writing about how how we operate at Focus Lab. And you can always find us online at Made by Sidecar, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All right, cheers, everybody. See you next time.